Strand TV is delighted to, to welcome one of our B. Ed primary graduates, Andrew McGee, who now lives and works near Zurich in Switzerland. You're very welcome, Andrea. Thank you very much. Andrea, Adam. you left Strandmillis in 2011, and your teaching and education journey has taken you from Belfast to Finland to Lithuania, Austria, and Switzerland. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, what you've been up to since you left here and how you ended up in Switzerland? Well, you summed it up in a nutshell, really, there. Um, well, that's it. Uh, I did the BA in Strand, and it was during that program that I did an Erasmus semester in Finland. So that gave me a taste for what was to come next in my journey after Stramilla. So after graduating from there, I went on to do a master's program in education in Finland. And uh, during that program, I then did a teaching experience in, in Lithuania for three months. And uh, just it gave me a taste of, of Europe, really. And that sort of took me on a journey. And it was over 10 years ago now that I, I did the Erasmus semester in Finland. And that's where I happened to meet my now husband. And uh, after graduating from Finland, then I uh, had a sort of priority to, to learn German as well. And I ended up moving to Vienna, teaching and, and learning German there. And that sort of gave me the edge I needed to end up moving to Switzerland. So that's where I find myself now today. So you, you, you've been around a bit. And <laughs> whilst you're teaching, you also find the time to, uh, to be one of the founders of MJOY, uh, who are a non-profit organization that aim to promote the exchange of ideas amongst teachers and different countries, and really to inspire them to, to embrace joy in, uh, in education. Can you tell us uh, how that all came about? That's right. Well, it was actually while teaching here in Switzerland that I kind of realized there was a gap in the professional development opportunities. And it's sort of easy as a teacher, whether you're a new teacher to the job, it's easy to sort of feel overwhelmed by it. Or if you're an experienced teacher, it's easy to get stuck in a rut. So you always do need that continued professional development going on. And for me to find that here wasn't such an easy task. Um, and so I started looking elsewhere, really. And some friends of mine who I studied with in Finland, and one of them, she went back to her home country in Romania and started a Finnish inspired school there. And part of that um, was her organizing an international festival of education where she invited speakers to come to Romania, particularly speakers from Finland, given her Finnish inspired school. And I ended up starting to attend that um, year on year. And it was through a workshop during her festival that just another colleague of mine, Dimitra, the two of us were just buzzing afterwards. We were just thrilled with this message of bringing joy back into the profession. And we left thinking we need to do something with this now. And that's sort of how MJOY was born, really. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, MJOY, what its mission is, and particularly given the, the COVID situation at the moment, why joy is so important in education today? Well, we just want to, to reach out to teachers, really, and, and bring each other, support each other, create a support network for each other, especially during these particularly hard times for everybody. And we do make it a non-profit organization, so we're not making anything from it. It's a passion project of ours in our spare time, really. And so all of our events that we organize, we do sort of in the evenings or the weekends to try to give teachers the chance to join as much or as little as they like, really. And to be able to connect each other throughout different countries and, and exchange ideas, that's the sort of basis of how Finland became such a renowned education system is they, they took the best ideas from other places and implemented them and often it's just stripping it back to basics and actually it's one of these um one of these things humor and stripping it back to basics and keeping things sort of positive and developing those relationships with students it brings me actually to this quote that we were, we were discussing before this interview and um, i'd like to share with you if you'll indulge me now i'll just show you here if you can see that there and this just sort of takes me back. It's from a teacher himself, Franklin Habit, who said, teaching seems to require the sort of skills one would need to pilot a bus full of live chickens backwards with no brakes down a rocky road through the Andes while providing colorful and informative commentary on the scenery. 
And that really does some teaching up. I think only really teachers can fully understand what that quote really means. And sometimes the best kind of inspiration and motivation you get from other teachers. And, and we, we also want to try, though, to kind of bridge this gap between research and practice because we want to be doing evidence-based, research-based, um, good practice. Um, but sometimes we just need to, to find the ways to be able to do that. And that's what we try to do through our events. I mean, you've talked about the, the events there and MJOY runs a number of events like uh, Teach Club. But you also have uh, coming up very shortly, the Joyful Festival of Education. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Absolutely. Well, um, the Joyful Festival of Education is our biggest event. It's an annual conference that we run each year. We started it last year. Um, last year took place in Athens. Obviously, this year it's, a, it's trickier to organize something that, that require, requires travel. So we're doing it online. So we're very excited to make use of Zoom and bring a Joyful Festival of Education into people's homes. So we've invited um, speakers from, from Finland, from Greece, from the US, and um, from all over to give a little bit of inspiration and, and based on the theme of interaction, because as we've all, I'm sure, found during these, this particular year, what we've missed the most is really that interaction with others, especially that social interaction. And to be able to network as well and meet other people and exchange ideas, we really wanted to be able to promote that. So it's sort of a setup where you can come in, we're going to break out into small groups, we're going to be able to have lots of discussion, you can interact as much or as little as you like with really relevant topics to this time. So we're talking about building supportive classroom community, we're talking about um, how we can promote arts, especially during this particular year, um, mindfulness and the importance of that and the well-being of uh, teachers and students, um, resilience, a particularly important topic that we all need right now. So all of these, these things, that's just a taster of what's to come in the Joyful Festival of Education. We're very excited to host that this month. When is the festival, how do people find out uh, more about MJOY in particular? How do they go about finding out information about the festival and how to the book? Well, the best way is to, to follow us on Facebook, really. That's where we update regularly the, the upcoming information. We've got lots of great um, online discounts that we're providing now for those who participate um, in the Joyful Festival of Education. Um, there's a very decent student discount there as well. That you can register via the website, mjoyeducation.org. And it's very simple and straightforward to register. And it's happening um, on a weekend on the 17th and 18th of October. So hopefully that means it's, you know, as many people as possible will find the time to dive in and bring some more joy back to education. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. Your passion for, for education and for, for joy has, uh, has really come out. And we wish you all the very best with the, the, the upcoming festival. Thank you very Thanks, much. Andrew. Thank you. Thanks very much for taking the time.